Oh, y'all thought I was gone. I forgot to tell y'all that my sister cooked, y'all. And y'all know she a chef. Because if you ain't catch that mukbang um, uh, a couple, a week ago that I dropped, y'all need to stop this video because you're going to come back to this one. And go to that mukbang and watch my sister. Y'all need to order her. your catering services she like to be flown out everywhere yes, do y'all see that <clears throat> she can be flown out she can come to you directly in south carolina area if you are here do y'all see that i didn't dig then it was prettier than that <laughs> but look I, I couldn't even move my stuff from Ulta yet i just boy i'm about to dig in look y'all I ain't even put the cam the light on no nothing no lights camera action man look don't worry, I'm going to do a mukbang since you took a picture? No, no. Okay, I'm going to need you to take a picture so I can put that as my mukbang. Good eat. Hold on, I got to get a little wife with cabin. Made with love. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That's going to be my damn love. That's going to be my slogan, man. Y'all remember mine? Yes. <laughs> Just let me get five percent off. Listen, mine is a true OG. A, not, a lot of a lot of people can't hang out with me two days in a row. Hey, I made it. I be a little extra. <laughs> two days in a row. Right, she came pick your girl up from work. I had she left her pen, so I was like, hey, you if you don't come by the house, my little can't pick me up from work. Look, you have not, cause you ask not. Amen. You don't know. You don't know. Now look, she about to get her some good eat on. Yeah, she a boy Take a picture. Oh, I ain't got no space to take a picture. She a boy ID. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. Mm. I know y'all see. Mmm, mmm. I couldn't mm. took a picture like that. I'm trying to make a space. Come on, do it again. Mm. 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 Y'all see it? Y'all know y'all see it. Hold on, I ain't doing it. Hold on. Oh, thanks, you. Yeah. I hit you good knife, y'all. So I can eat a little pretty for y'all. Oh, this a mukbang. <laughs> it's official. Oh, uh, so it's mukbang. I got to start dropping her in the description, y'all. I'm a little slack with, like, captions and stuff, because I know y'all been seeing me posting on Put Nothing on the Day. And I'm saying drop in the comments. Yeah. With this food, guy. Oh, thank you for this food. Oh, yeah. I love how she be making her rice soup. Oh, my God. I just want to make sure it's not too overwhelming. No, ma'am. At all, girl. Overwhelming where? With flavor? Right. I about to say, the chicken sauce, I didn't want it to be too much. With flavor, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Girl, it's, it's bursting in my mouth. Right. Okay. Good, yes. It's flavor in the rice. You know how people That's just be saying. making like, rice and rice just make it regular. My sister has a secret recipe. Don't worry. When she got her recipe book out, y'all need to cop that. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to follow on Facebook mm -hmm. now. You don't want to miss out. Because look at this. Yum. Remember, 10 out of 10. I recommend. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She know how to make everything. She's official. He's so silly. Mmm. So mmm. Mm -hmm. She ain't got no more cold water unless you want some soda. No, you know I want. I like warm water. Yeah, I forget. I don't like nothing cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Boy, y'all, yeah, this is no so good. Mm -hmm. You get your drinks with no ice. She has No, not mm -hmm. really. No. If I'm at the restaurant, I got a scrawl, so no. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. I like ice, but I love not in water. Too. And I heard that it's not good to drink water cold anyway. I heard that too. They say it hydrates you fast. Not necessarily bad. 
hydrate you faster? Yeah, well, I heard that. I heard that. They say because it's already warm. Mm-hmm. Even though I, it's not for your body, it's going to warm up anyway, but you know. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's good. good. It's cabbage for me. And it's the rice. Right. Like, it's I'm, the rice, the chicken. Boy, I love chicken. I feel like I'm eating that. I love chicken. Right now. I'm glad. Like, I'm glad I tried it's to It's definitely giving restaurant. Ooh, go ahead, girl. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. I recommend. There you go. Real good. Real good. Real gas. Mm. So what they have on the menu today is we had some uh, rosemary rice with some fried cabbage. Rosemary rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a tomato based chicken as well. Who be making rosemary rice? Mm -hmm. I know you know. Mm -hmm. I know you know. You put that salt water, salt mm -hmm. pepper. And, and just some butter in there, and that's all with your wife. Now, nah, my sister's got a super recipe. Rosemary. Rosemary. Y'all be making jazz. I love rosemary stuff. It is jazz right there. Mm -hmm. Look, my new body wash got rose in it. I love rose. That was so silly. Like, this would be me on a, a, a commercial. Rosemary. No, I'm talking. About, I'm trying to save it because I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this more. Mm -hmm. No, I love some cabbage and stuff. Mm -hmm. And what time it is? It's nine forty-three. I ain't gonna eat all of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. I say I'm gonna go get me a lunch box. I'm gonna start packing my lunch because I'm saving more money. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All uh, 20, 20, 24, I'm just focused on manage money management, time management. Yeah. Uh, money management. I said that money management. That's how you know you mean it, right? right. Money management, right? I'm talking about y'all, y'all. We getting in these, y'all. Get into that bag. You know what I'm saying? I got to get this money for my ten kids. Hey, come on. You want to have ten kids? Mm -hmm. I want to have a lot of kids. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Cause. Every time I tell people that uh, I want to have 10 kids, they be like, what? Dang. I can't even, yeah, I I can't even take care of the first one I got. Yeah, and the second one I got. That's you. Right. And I was like, but. Yeah, me and mine's going to be I blessed. was like, but. And when people say that to me, I be like, I mean, but I'm planning for my kids now. Yeah. Your kids got to happen. I'm planning. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's the difference when you come with a game plan. Exactly. And I'm looking and like the point. you know you're going to have your husband. Right. That's the plan. Like, some of these people be. And I'm going to have a village. Like, yeah, you don't think I'm going to be like T.I. and Tiny and I have my auntie stay there, the cousin, the other auntie watch my kids because I got somewhere to be real quick. Why not? We don't have enough space yeah, for everybody. We about to go on date night. And I can see myself really doing like I seen somebody on TikTok do this thing where they had had movie night mm -hmm. and like family. Yeah, and it was like, but they did different stuff. Like they had they was on the pool yeah, where they with they the can. So the point that all these good ideas out here, like me and my kids yeah. are gonna be active and with each other and doing that stuff. Are established. Right. They they have a firm foundation in a lot of And that's why I'm building my foundation for my right kids now. now. Exactly. Right. It's gotta be sturdy. Mm -hmm. And it's like I feel like I did the things I needed. Like I'm healing with myself. Mm -hmm. And I actually Keita Rose said this. She made a comment when she was like, um I if Kita. I could she was like, if I could have not have a child right now, like in my twenties how I did, I would have had waited. Period. Period. But well, you get in caught in certain in situations and the situations be situationing. Yes. And then that happens and then now you became a mother except for being made a mother where you was already made a mother. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my bishop said this. He said some women are made mothers and some women are mothers. Ooh. Come on. 
It was already mothers before, before they came they a mother. Kids. Just like you can be a wife before you have the ring. Period. That's why Period. that's why in the Bible it says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and his he shall last long or God will bless him long or so. either way it's a good thing. You know what right. I'm saying? So you gotta already be a wife and that's what she working on. That's what Period. she's saying right now. So I'm And I like I feel like it's gonna take a village and I I see me having my kids even if I don't have all of them, I do mm-hmm. see me being able to adopt. You gonna have and, one? Yeah, yeah like, well, you remember that drum line? One, 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 one bad, one sound. See, right. that's what I want. <laughs> let my people go. All right, let me look it up real quick. One bad, one sound. I'm gonna drop that video. One bad, one band, one sound. Y'all see how good it don't about my editing skills. What's funny is that I, I realized me thinking about that sometimes. His speech when he said that, I was like, what the hell was Right. You can get lost in a certain type of world and you think that's all that it is, but that's not it. And I feel like I come from the hood, even though it's like my dad and them wasn't from the hood. Mm-hmm. And my mom and them stayed in the hood. Mm-hmm. Wasn't from the hood, but stayed in the hood. And then my dad and them, they gave me a different lifestyle, too. So it was like I was seeing it. I'm losing people when I was 11 and 12, right? right. But it's because we are trained to let the hood, like, you know, raise your kids. Yep. And then it's just like, it's like, just like a loop. Like, yeah, yo, like your grandma was on Section 8, then you on Section 8, then the next person on Section 8, and then we stay on Section 8. Exactly. Until they kick us out. Exactly. And then it's just like, we never really figured nothing out. We ain't never know why that man touched us and why my mama never talked about it. Come on, talk about it. Why why my mama beat it on me, but Mm -hmm. still said she loved me. I don't know. My daddy touched me, but Mm -hmm. now this shit ain't happening to me, y'all. So don't don't mock me, right? right. right. But these are things that that happen in the real world. I got a homeboy, y'all, who sell crack because both of his parents on crack. Wow. And he want to know where they get it from. And he mm. supply them. But mm. he also taking care of them. And Mind you, he been that's taking care of them since he been 13. And that's a real deal situation. This not no the TV hell? stuff. Mm. Like somebody really going through that. They making the best out of the situation. That but uh, I, I really could see me like want to work with children. And like, you know, doing something with the community in that way. Like I can so see myself doing know? multiple things. Yeah. Like people in city and state and out of state. I feel like, you know, because it's not about the family that you uh, are born with. It's the family that you build. So I feel like if you build a foundation with that family or build a relationship with that person, that person will always be in your life. Like, you know what I mean? Like in a certain way around in about. I definitely made family members. Right. Yeah. Like. Exactly. So I feel like that's how I feel about, you know, building my family. And I would want to build my family in that way. Showing my kids, like, support and and to be all, to have that. Like, that's why I want the money now. Because, like, having 10 kids, you need a lot you of money, money, right? You money because every year. Because them kids got it and they taken care of. <laughs> Right, but I can see me having like little hustlers and athletes and stuff because I was active. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, so I I would feel like my kids, like, because I want my kids to even be better than me. So I'm a a pretty cool person. So, on top of that, in this generation, my kids gonna be cool as hell. Your kids gonna be able to go ahead and just hop on the socials and stuff and make money from that. They make it so easy for people to, I mean, you gonna be. Pop Prime is that? You know I'm saying you, you gonna my, up there. I'm gonna have my own TV show with my teen exactly. kids and my husband. How how he need a big hands? So I can see it now. Right, <laughs> I can see me bringing the cameras down here. I already got a camera <laughs> down here in South Carolina. I said I was gonna bring the cameras down here. Look, what 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 that camera? At? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> come on. What I feel like? Uh, you remember that? Uh. I'm gonna put that on that Jim um Ace Ventura when he was looking at the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. That means you and a bug stop playing. <laughs> so I, I really can see like me having a TV show like yeah. that with my kids That's and stuff. Dope. Me being in a wheelchair, juggling all that stuff, a career. Yeah. Like I could write a book really? about that, baby. Really? So that's what I'm gonna do. I already got a plan. Like hopefully my husband 
I know he gonna be down because God probably telling him to plan yeah. too. Whatever, yeah. because God didn't told me to plan. Right, right. That's how you gotta believe. Amen. The man, the the right man that's gonna be there. Yeah. He gonna know the plan. Yeah. You ain't gotta tell him plan. He gonna know the plan. Yeah. Right. So me and my husband, but he gonna ask me my advice too. That's how I want that. So I want to be a pink because I'm very opinionated, and my opinion should be bringing yeah. value to what's going on. You know, but. I can see me like having my kids right and then being on my career, maybe doing fashion week and makeup here, doing this, and then taking my kids with me. Like mm -hmm. I, I want to be like the, the uh, 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 Kylie and her man. Yeah. No, like they take up, take them on tour with them, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I need money for that, right? And then. I, me and my husband doing it together, like you know, I feel like he'd be okay with being on camera and yeah. stuff. He gonna uh, be exactly what you need him to be. Exactly. Yeah. And I gotta manifest that because he gonna know the plan. Mm -hmm. So what we gonna do is when I'm having the kids and I gotta be home on bed rest or something, even though I don't see that. Right, I don't see that in my first future. But if I had to be at home, I was like, that's the time where I could take the time to write my book and stuff like that. So you know, uh, so. I, I got an imagination like Harry Potter, baby. I have value one, two, three, four, five, Yo, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, baby. I'm weak. Goblin of the fear with my family. Stop playing with you me. Should, um, you should take some time and write down everything that you want in your man and your husband to be. And, like, tell that, like, to the universe and tell God, like, God, this is what I Right, and I, I want to be, and you know what? I want to make sure I know what I want first. Yeah, exactly. so that's why I'm doing like dating, getting to know myself more, so you'll know what you want or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know what you really want. God so, knows my heart, my language, so He knows what type of yeah. man I need, deserve, desire, all that and above. Right, right. right. So Tamala, man, husband, was the man in. He yeah. made up. I, I feel like you can learn something from everywhere. And, and you know, it's about what you absorb, right? Mm -hmm. So he said that. He said he, he had an interview when he asked the people what is, um, what he said. He was like, I got the secret into how to get a husband. And uh -huh. he said all the women was like, all right, let's listen, let's listen. Uh -huh. And he was like, write your list. Right, exactly what you want. Exactly what you want in a man. Put every little detail. You want him to have eight hundred dollar credit? Say that. You want him to have his own car? Say that. You want him to always have his own place? Say that. If you want him to have a career, a job, and a, a gold check, whatever you want your man to have, put it on that list. Put it on that list and be very particular. Yep. And then they said, be those things be on that those list. Things. Become those things, and you will get it. I promise you. So I feel like that's me. I feel like the point that I haven't met my husband at is because I'm still preparing for that. Like yeah. I'm still in process. That's when they be like trusting the journey because I'm still in process. I'm still yeah. in transition. Uh, I'm a butterfly turning into a cocoon. Why do I call y'all beautiful butterflies and caterpillars? Because we all are some caterpillars waiting to bloom. Yes. And even when you bloom, you still grow, change colors, hibernate, yep. do do butterflies hibernate? I mean, that's what they do in the cocoon. That's they grow their wings and everything. That's yeah. it. Right, yeah. but do do they go back in hibernation? What? Uh, <coughs> okay, cool. I don't work like that. I'm, I'm up here trying to recordate the butterflies. Not hibernating, <laughs> but, you but they do migrate. Like so they don't, don't okay, okay. okay. Ah! Same, I'm paying. I'm talking about they migrate. I'm about to give them um cheapest creepers. He come back it. every twenty three years. They, they don't. They it's don't hibernate, but do they migrate? Do they migrate? I don't know. I'm looking. For me, like I fell for the victim of doing the things that I seen, and mm -hmm. then I had to learn that that is not always the uh, the way you can go. You can figure out other ways. Mm -hmm. You can uh, pick up other role models, mm -hmm. and I felt like, but God set me down so He can slow me down mm -hmm. to see that. Because He knew I had a good heart. He knew looking at myself because I. Like, you remember that girl who was talking about burning that lie, still up, when she was saying how she loved them niggas with them um, dirty socks? Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. What? Dirty socks. I'm going to look uh, it up. Who's that? Susan. So, when she was like, oh, 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 I love the men with, them, yeah, yeah. with yeah. them dirty socks, when she said that, 
I fell to that shit. You know how many times I just let a nigga stay at my house and he didn't stay up my whole room with his damn socks. Had to put them shit out the door. I said, oh shit, I want to do. Reality yeah, check. She said, she said, I love dirty men since I was 10. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> Dang. You don't have a reality check until you have a reality Dang. check. I just got to check myself because. I never even looked at that bar and like really thought about. I do. I was loving on some dirty men. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And you know what my bishop said. This is why I know that I hear things where I need to hear and I go through the stuff that I need to go through. My bishop said. He said. Oh, uh, something about Mary came to clean. You know, got up and then something about she wanted to clean him off, clean the dirt off, mm-hmm. and. God wasn't even dirty, you know, he wasn't even dirty because he did you know, he came back and resurrected, right? But he said only a fool thinks that they playing dirt and don't get dirty. Right. You get dirty, bro. Alright, my camera right back, y'all. We had a good book, baby. We had a good book, baby. We gotta go. The camera right down. But <laughs> stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. And Shit. Yeah. And let me know what y'all think. Hey. If you don't agree, I understand. But once a, a, a wise man once told me, take what you need from a conversation and leave the rest. If it ain't none of this applied to you or you don't want to hear, turn it off. Bye. There you go. Ain't got no seatbelt because I be riding dirty and then now my... And now my wheel... And now I really ride dirty because of my seatbelt pop. No, oh, Jesus. Jesus.